Here's the technique for writing Bronsted-Lauer equations when you're given uh, a mixture of acids and bases together. So here's the question. Nitric acid, which is HNO3, reacts with sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH. Now, a simple double replacement reaction would be HNO3 plus NaOH, and it would make HOH and NaNO3. But you know what? We don't like to write that because it's not a net ionic equation. Remember the redox unit. We like net ionic equations now. So Bronsted-Lowry will help us to do that when we take all the chemicals that we have and make a list of them and try to find from that list the strongest acid and the strongest base to react together. Now here's something that looks kind of funny. Nitric acid, when you dissociate that, it forms H positive and NO3 negative. But you know what? We know that when H positive goes into water, it attaches itself to the polar water molecule to become H3O positive. So, whenever you have a strong acid, in your list of chemicals, you know that strong acids make hydronium 100% of the time. So we just write hydronium. Strong acids we'd write as hydronium, and then the negative ion, which is NO3 negative, we also write in the list of chemicals. Strong acids, hydronium. Then NaOH dissociates into Na positive and OH negative, and there's always water present in the reaction. It may be one of the strong chemicals. You have to write it in there and then determine. Now, you would then use an acid-base data chart, if you have one, to be able to determine the strongest acid, which is usually the highest one on the left-hand side where all the acids are, because acids usually go up in strength on these charts from low Ka's to high Ka values. So, the higher you are on the left, reacts with the lowest one on the right, because the conjugate base ion of a strong acid is a very weak base, but the conjugate base ion to a very weak acid is quite a strong type of weak base, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, here's the thing. The highest on the left that you're ever going to get is hydronium, because hydronium is the strongest you can have. So that's your strongest acid in the list. What's your strongest base in this list? The strongest base is hydroxide, because there's no base stronger, actually. O2 negative in solution is stronger when you get it because when, hydro when, when this oxide ion hits water, water donates a proton to this and guess what you get? Can you see it? You get hydroxide ion formed here and then this leaves a hydroxide ion and makes two OH negatives. So actually oxide is the strongest. But guess what? That's just between you and me for now. Hydroxide is the strongest. So what do we do? We write an equation with hydronium and hydroxide in it. So, the strongest acid, hydronium, reacts with the strongest base, that's hydroxide. Both of those are aqueous ions in solution. Here's where I put my AQs in, make sure all the subscripts are in your final equation. And then, transfer a proton from the acid to the base, and you get H2O twice. Water to liquid. And so that's the net Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction for this very important reaction, this most popular one. Strongest acid there is in base, hydronium and hydroxide makes 2H2O. Now that strong acid, nitric acid, is going to react with potassium bicarbonate instead. But potassium bicarbonate, KHCO3, that's potassium ions, and bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate. Bi in chemistry means hydrogen. Doesn't mean two, it means hydrogen. So when you break that down into ions, as well as that nitric acid, which was the strong acid before, and hydronium is still going to be the strong acid, isn't it? Then you're going to get Potassium ions, bicarbonate ions, and water still in your list. That is going to be the strongest base. When you look in this list of chemicals for the strongest base, which is the lowest one on the right side, nitrate ion will be up here. Nitrate ion is, remember, it's the conjugate base to a strong acid, so it's neutral anyway. And bicarbonate is down in the middle here on the base side. And so therefore, that's your strongest base. It's not a strong base, but it's the strongest one you've got. It's the strongest weak base that you have. There's only one strong base, and it's hydroxide. All the other bases are weaker. So when you add those two together, you've got hydronium ion, which is your strong acid, and bicarbonate ion, which is your strong base. Now, look, where does the proton go? You've got a proton in each of these. This thing is an amphoteric species, or amphiprotic species. It's something that can accept a proton, because it has a negative charge, or donate a proton, because it's got an H. Well, what does it do? 
Hey, we just said it was a base. So it's the base, it accepts the proton from the hydronium. And it forms H2CO3AQ. What's left over once this donates? Water. H2O, liquid. And there's your balanced reaction. For both of these two reactions that we've just done, we put a 100% arrow. And that's because whenever you have hydronium or hydroxide reacting in solution, it's most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, those guys are so strong in terms of being able to give away a proton. Take my proton, says hydronium. Hydroxide always says, give me your proton. So you can imagine a reaction with something that definitely wants to take or give. You're going to get a 100% reaction all the time, which is why we write 100% arrow. I don't really want your proton, says the weak base. You're taking my proton, says hydronium. Okay. And so it's a 100% reaction. 